Oh, oh God, okay. Internet historians, goodening of No Man's Sky. We've got about 20 minutes, 17 minutes left in the video. We've heard uh, the fan side, we've heard the inside side, and we have the last little bit here, hopefully gonna answer all of my questions. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you have not watched the first part, it is linked somewhere. The second part will be the link following that one if you're coming to this video first. They're also in the description. Thank you so much to my channel members. I really appreciate your support. If you want your comment to guaranteed be seen by me, please hit that join button and become a channel member. Also, I'm a self-published author. These are my books. Feel free to lower your expectations and then buy them. <laughs> I don't think I overhype my books, but like they're great, but like, don't know man, sky me. All right, I'm very curious to watch the end of this video, so let's get into it. They know they're not gonna be putting out a finished game. They're worried, there's nothing more they can do. And the fear that they will disappoint the audience is growing on Sean and the team. I mean, they're guaranteed um, to disappoint the audience. I, I worry about, like, disappointing people. Upon release, all of these clips are seen as proof that Sean is a liar. And what doesn't help is his body language. I mean, it's kind of the body language of someone who is lying. And this is why I mentioned- I feel so sad for him! Remember, he's a technical lead. Actually, a really good one. But not a mm. salesman. Cut him just a little bit of slack. Because this is simply how he talks. Here's some <laughs> innocuous questions- That's just how he honestly. talks. Uh, lead producers on uh, No Man's Sky? Yeah, I guess I'm a, I'm a developer on it. I suppose the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, creator or something like that. <laughs> no. Uh, I I really like making games. I don't necessarily love talking about making games. <laughs> I think you, you did a good even, job, even Sean, though, Even though, you know, you guys are very <laughs> nice. And, <laughs> Mate, seriously. Same body language. And Jesus Christ, they have him up on stage and in front of cameras and bright lights and on the goddamn Colbert Report. Yeah. Try keeping your nerve on that. Nonetheless, yeah. free of that context, the clips have him cemented in the community as a liar. So the graph plays out right to release. And that graph, it's actually a track. And that track is what the hype train runs on. <laughs> so it comes barreling up the hill. Instead of neatly pulling into the station, it comes crashing right through the roof. <laughs> the disaster unfolds. They are absolutely shit on. So there were Sean and Hello Games, surrounded by the rubble of their former reputation. Punish Sean was at his lowest point. Punish Sean. by the majority of the gaming community. But they were still alive. And they had Poor made guy. tens of millions of dollars. Oh yeah. I they guess were left with two choices. Fine. Take the money, start a new project, and be a pariah. A cautionary tale of the industry and hated by the gaming community forever. <laughs> or? Or pick themselves up, get back to work, and with potentially no profit motive, fix the game? the game. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Me to do something that I've always done in difficult times, whether it's crappy bosses that I've dealt with before or crappy situations at school growing up, I got my head down, I sat in front of a computer, and I made games, which is what I enjoy. They picked number two. Good job, guys! So, here's the plan. The team is assigned to fixing bugs and the most obvious problems. Go. Sean tells the team to stop reading all the overwhelmingly negative feedback on the game and he reroutes all of it to his personal devices. Emails, forum posts, Google news alerts, player feedback, it's all going directly to him now. Then Why doesn't it go to nobody? Down into data sets. People oh, who haven't bought it. Because he game. wants the information. People who have that makes and sense. Played it for 100 hours. People who have returned it, etc. Hmm. Then he starts compiling those complaints into usable data, focusing on the people with the most sincere experience of the game. Then we start making a big laundry list of all the things that need adding and prioritizing. First wow. thing to fix is that full inventory. Then community mod support. Then a third thing, etc, etc. This is going to take an enormous amount of work to pull off, and they're not the going fan. to make the same mistake it's like, yeah. So they would like need my, to sharply adjust their PR strategy. My camera. Anything they said right now, an admission of guilt, I've made a severe... would be met with criticism. 
Denial. Just don't say anything. It's not that bad. Would Just be Just don't say criticism. anything. Corporate speak. Well, we endeavored to make the best game we could, and we are proud of what we have. Would be met with criticism. Half of the problems have been caused by speaking too much. So just don't talk. So they were going to do a complete Uno reverse. <laughs> instead of adding more fuel to the fire, instead of accidentally promising fixes that might also not be delivered, he'll let they wouldn't girls are speak coming. to the press Have again. Good. Female traits you're talking about. I'd say that's a generalization, but you use They were going to speak to the community directly from now on. Oh. So they told the audience they were working on it and went completely silent. One day passed. No word. Two days. A week. Have you heard from Hello Games? They just had this disastrous release. No, nope, haven't seen them. I hope they're working on the game. Two weeks. Dude, are you working on this thing? <laughs> just ignore them. Just work. Three weeks. Okay, what the fuck is going on? WTF, it's locked. A month. They took the fuck money and ran, didn't they? Didn't say anything. It's not going to help. Two months. Three months. By now, most people were convinced that the game was abandoned. They had made their money. It's all over. Then, after over a hundred days of absolute silence, a tweet. Foundation. The first big patch. It is me, Sean. <laughs> no, go away, Sean. I am mad at you. It has been too long. But I bring you gifts. This accent sucks. <laughs> it brought base building, new game modes, farming, cats, and freighters, as well as a lot of bug fixes. You will have to try harder than that, Sean, to win my love back. It still fell well shy of the promised game. Too little, too late. So Sean left, returned to his team, and got back to work. I love this redemption arc! Went by. And then, another tweet. Pathfinder. What do we have here? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's you, Sean. Oh, it's you, Sean. Online base sharing. Own multiple starships. Starship specialization, multi-tool specialization and classes, permadeath modes, vehicles you can drive around in, and create racetracks for them too with time trials. Look at this. Okay, that's pretty good, but I'm still mad, <laughs> and there's still a ton promised that isn't in the game yet. So Sean went away once more. A few more months went by. Oh, knock, knock. Oh, it's you, Sean. What is it now? I bring you an overhaul to the storyline. New oh. worlds, crashed freighters, space combat, terrain editing, portals, procedural mission system, interstellar trading, and joint exploration. By now, people were really starting to warm to No Man's are, Sky. Are people and to playing Games. together yet or the no? The game has in many ways exceeded what was promised. It's a substantially better game now. No Man's Sky is back, Boo. baby! <laughs> this was an honest effort to fix the game. And the number of employees working on it was growing. From a studio of 15 to 25. Sean Murray and Hello Game Social Media also started becoming more active and engaging with the audience. The subreddit was flourishing once more. The price of the game secondhand on Amazon, eBay and GameStop was going up. Then a few more months went by. Next. A really big patch. Oh my god. Holy shit! I just got goosebumps. To be super clear, No Man's Sky is not f that. Here's the full and proper multiplayer experience. Ringed planets, third person mode, character customization. A galactic atlas on an external website for the community. Vast overhauls to base building and crafting and resources. And it also brought the game to Xbox. Oh. In fact, with the release of Next in July 2018, No Man's Sky was the sixth top selling console game for the month. It climbed its way back into Steam's top 10. It reached nearly 100,000 concurrent players. It brought another $24 million across all platforms. Their Steam rating went from mixed to very positive. People were getting back on board in a big way. <laughs> but they weren't done yet. 
the abyss. The abyss. Weird underwater shit. Weird the underwater shit. <laughs> and, it, and it keeps going. New biomes, more diversity, archaeology, more things to discover. By now, Sean in the Gaming Inspector personification of the gaming community <laughs> had literally patched things up and were making out on the couch. <laughs> Which was when he released his biggest patch to date of this video. Oh my god, it's huge! Free VR support. Oh my god, it's Not huge! <laughs> to pay for, like some title. Mm. Overhauls to NPCs, tech trees, base building, streamlined multiplayer, ride animals around. All sorts of stuff that was never promised in the mm. first place. And they're still adding more stuff. Someone at Valve, who was a fan of the game, said to me, what you do now is more important than what you say. There is only one thing that's credible, and that's your actions. In fact, I was so slow to get this video out that they put out another patch the other day. With ship salvaging, ship upgrading, more advanced terrain editing, first person exocross, improved VR, improved base building and inventory management. I'm so slow stuff. getting this video out. <laughs> Is it perfect? Uh, technically, there are still things on this spreadsheet missing. But come on now, we're starting to nitpick. Especially when you compare them to relationships with other games companies. They could have gone the route of Fallout 76. Paywall mods with Fallout first, charging a monthly fee, a downward mm. spiral more and more into pay to win scraps released without QA testing. Mm. Emperor but who? instead, they never added pay to win. They never added microtransactions or paid DLC. They never made VR as a second game. They didn't give up on the game or scale their resources back to do it. They didn't come out and call all gamers entitled. They didn't add loot boxes. They didn't start work on the next big project or sequel. They didn't do much of anything except get back to work. Aww. And just like that, the game once panned by critics now had awards rolling <laughs> in. Your developed star 2019, No Man's Sky, Sean Murray. No Man's Sky next. <laughs> no Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is next. No Man's Sky. And to cap it all off, the subreddit R No Man's Sky The Game even got together and pulled money for a GoFundMe to have a billboard installed near the Hello Games mm -hmm. offices. It must have been a harrowing moment for Sean and the team. They took a huge risk to start a small Yeah, studio. I have goosebumps. To create one of the most notable games of the console generation. Disappointed pretty much everybody and took one of the biggest online beatings in video game history for it the family post release we faced uh, some really difficult challenges everything that you can imagine from like the worst of the internet we hit but then over the course of the next three years completely turned it around and came out the other side with a win it's the underdog story. And after doing all of this research, I couldn't help but come to the conclusion that they were the good guys. Game! <laughs> so what is the future for Hello Games? In 2017, they announced Hello Labs, a support <laughs> program focused on original titles and games using procedural generation. I don't really know what that means to still, the team procedural also generation. Off to work on a small title called The Last Campfire. But for the foreseeable future, they're just working on No Man's Sky. <laughs> Alright, I didn't want to finish the video on like a big sappy note. So, this is the end of the story, but there's still another few minutes. Don't leave. Okay. It's not an ad. Sure. Okay, in 2015, when the hype was at its peak, someone wrote a Sean Murray erotic fan fiction. And, naturally, I assumed that you lot would want to see it. So, here it is. My evening interview at Hello Games. I arrived at the Hello Games office in the early evening as the sun was approaching the horizon. <laughs> Taking a deep breath, I nervously pressed the doorbell. I'm so uncomfortable right now. The door opened, and Sean poked his expressive face out to greet me. Hey you, he exclaimed in his adorable British-Australian accent. I'm so happy you could make it and spend the evening with us. I was so happy when I heard you agreed to let me come in for an interview, I said. Oh yeah, the interview. I forgot. He replied with his usual brilliant humor. <laughs> his usual He's brilliant so humor. Sean. Let me show you my office. I have a surprise for you, Sean said. He led me to the room where we sat down on a soft vinyl couch. So let me show you the surprise, he said softly. 
It's the newest build of the game. We just added some new features. He booted up the game on a PS4 in his office. I stared at his face. I, I like your beard. It's sexy. I pretended to say to him in my head to myself. Uh, in my head to myself! I had a secret crush on him. There was something about his humble demeanor and feeble yet handsome bone structure that was so alluring. So here's the game, he said eagerly. It opened on an alien world just calling out to be explored. I began to sweat. <laughs> I began to sweat. In front of me in all of its glory. And it was being played by Sean in front of me in all of his glory. I nervously spoke. Could I try playing? I said. I asked. Oh, I suppose, of course, he said, chuckling. But another few minutes passed without him handing me the controls. Sean, I said more confidently. I put my hands on oh, his hands. Oh, as he God. The oh, okay. He looked me straight in the eyes. I stared deep into his beautiful, glistening uh, eyes, utterly transfixed. Uh, sure, he said. He let go of the PlayStation controller, still sweaty from ew, his Ew, ew, ew. But I have another surprise to show you. He no, stood. no, no, no. <laughs> my. Redacted. He uh, yes, please, I said, blushing as ready as. <laughs> <laughs> Blushing as red as the treetops of Aurora oh, 5. I hate it. He grabbed my shoulders, guiding me confidently towards the coffee table, like he confidently <gasps> guides the Hello Games team towards the game's release. Uh, the one true Sean Murray, not that baby-faced loser asshole poser from NCIS, <laughs> made sweet, sweet love to me. I wasn't sure what I was more excited about. Finally, Redacted. Sean Murray, all finally playing No Man's Sky. After exploring the planet's surface, I entered my spaceship and took off. Just as I left the atmosphere and burst into the, oh! the breathtaking expanse of space. Redacted. Ah! Ah! It was an out of world I am, experience. I am having an out of body experience. Oh! Oh god, I feel physically ill. There's more? Oculus Rift support, <laughs> he uttered sensually. As I turned, <laughs> I saw Sean's avatar standing before me in a beautiful, procedurally generated spacesuit. Like what you see. Uh, no, said, I don't, it's I don't. time, everybody, he shouted. I heard footsteps slowly enter from the cramped office. I soon saw many spacesuits appear before me in game. But as they took off their helmets, oh my God. I realized that oh they were all my God. the same Sean Murray avatar. I was about to be oh my God. Sean Murray's. But they I... all had one difference. The big... Redacted. Each of them was different. were wide ones, thin ones, long ones, curved ones. It was magical. As the Hello Games team began to Redacted. From somewhere in the room, I heard Sean whisper, Every Redacted Procedure. Oh! Oh! Also, I did a thing on the second channel. Please do check it out. I thought it was quite good. I, I, was, I love the videos on the second channel. It's some erotic fan fiction over there. Why not check it out? And... That's it. Sorry it took so long. I am scandalized. I am in physical pain. Oh, God, I don't even remember what the video was about. I got not, I, ugh. I mean, I'm not trying to kink shame or anything, but like, I don't know if I needed that. It was funny for you guys, I hope, okay. I love a redemption arc and bye bye. I hope you're all happy and healthy doing whatever you want in your space with consenting adults. None of that, it's, my books are better written than that, and the content is different. Please buy them with reasonable expectations. I hope you're all happy and healthy, taking care of yourselves and each other, staying hydrated because life is easier that way, being friends instead, and as always, until next time, may the forest be with you, live long and prosper, and I'll be back. Click something, please, thanks, bye.